You're listening to the Spark Radio Network, Internet radio like you've never heard before. Innovation, creativity, and imagination are all said to begin with a spark. So fasten your seatbelt and take the ride of your life and listen for the spark. You are listening to KLRN Radio, where liberty and reason still reign. Hey, this is John Preston, Marine Combat Veteran and Pacific Records Recording Artist. i just reaching out to have you check out our new album, Battle Cry, Sons of America's Heroes, an album featuring phenomenal other combat veteran artists like Scott Brown of the Scooter Brown Band, Brian Weaver, Rowdy Johnson, just an incredible mix of people. This is all veterans telling our stories and our lives, and we're giving 100% of our proceeds to the Valkyrie Initiative to help veterans and first responders integrate back into society. I, myself, I've battled with post-traumatic stress for many years and lost my own brother, a Marine Corps veteran, to suicide. I ask that you step with us and make this happen. We are in pre-order right now and release on March 17th. Go to iTunes, go to Amazon, buy, buy, buy. We plan on making the charts and making it at a very high level, and your support right now makes a difference. This is the release of my new song, Superman Falls, which is actually about the loss of my own brother, which happened last year. And I would love for everyone to check it out, to listen, and hopefully it'll make a difference in many lives. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now, and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-553-8687. That's 800-553-8687. Again, 800-553-8687. 687. This is Slickery Trigger for Rebel Road Tactical. With proper care and feeding, your pistol will be ready when you need it. There to save your life. Shouldn't your gear be that good? Whether you need a holster for comfortable everyday carry or a tough as nails holster for your next training course, Rebel Road Tactical has what you need. Check us out on the web at rebelroadtactical.com. Sometimes riders feel lost, unsure why a passage may not be working. It takes another set of eyes to help us nurture our riding into full maturity. At Black Wolf Editorial Services, we strive to enable riders to develop and grow, offering manuscript critiques and line edits through a mentoring editorial style. We also offer assistance on generating a rider's bio for your websites. Black Wolf Editorial Services, nurturing your riding into maturity. For a full list of services, visit blackwolfeditorial.com. Here's George Foreman with InventHelp. Hi, I'm George Foreman. Do you have an idea for a new product or invention? People ask me all the time, George, how do I get my idea in front of companies? How do I get a patent? What do I do next? Do you have the same questions? I'll tell you like I'll tell them all. Call my friends at InventHelp. Call InventHelp today for free information. InventHelp has been helping inventors for more than 30 years and has sales offices nationwide. InventHelp can submit your invention to companies who are interested in receiving new ideas. If you have an idea and want to try to patent it and submit it to companies, you should call InventHelp today for free information. Listen, I can't guarantee a company will be interested in your idea, but I believe every inventor deserves the opportunity to step into the ring and take their best shot. Put InventHelp in your corner. Get your free inventor's information, call 1-800-353-6490. That's 1-800-353-6490. Again, 1-800-353-6490. KLRN Radio has advertising rates available. We have rates to fit almost any budget. Contact us at advertising at klrnradio.com.
If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now, and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-553-8687. That's 800-553-8687. Again, 800-553-8687. 687. All writers are prone to becoming so attached to our characters and stories that we struggle to see why a passage may not be working. It takes another set of eyes to help us nurture our writing to full maturity. At Black Wolf Editorial Services, we strive to enable writers to develop and grow, shaping stories into masterpieces that can stand the test of time. Editing services are provided for all genres and all age categories. Services range from the critique of the short story through to line edits on full-length novels. We also offer assistance on generating writer's bios for your websites. We won't abandon you to the masses. We want to celebrate with you in your successes. Black Wolf Editorial Services, nurturing your writing into maturity. For a full list of services and prices, visit us at blackwolfeditorial.com. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robbins. We've got lots and lots and lots of stuff to talk about tonight. There's been some interesting things that have happened in the news over the weekend. We're going to talk about all of it, including a recent shift with the Trump administration in regards to Syria and even Russia. But we're going to go ahead and get things kicked off right about now. So what do you say we go ahead and get the show started? Welcome to the program, America. This is Rick Robinson, host of America Off the Rails, coming to you live right now from KLRNRadio.com. We're live every Monday through Thursday at 11 p.m. Eastern. So if you'd like to and you're and you're hearing us and you actually can hang out with us live, you're welcome to go to the KLRNRadio.com chat room. Hang out with us in there. I promise I'll be in there in a minute. I'm not there yet. Um, but we're working on it. And um, if you're listening elsewhere, whether it be through Red Nation Rising Radio, the Liberty Channel, AMFM247.com, uh, the Lanterns Radio Network, or even crntalk.com. Just want to say thank you for listening, no matter how you choose to listen. Also, if you do prefer podcast, of course, we have about a dozen or so options available there. We have Google Play Music, SoundCloud, Stitcher, FM Player, uh, Blueberry, uh, Pocket Cast, um, iHeart, iTunes, and there's at least three or four others that I never can remember. So regardless of how you decide to listen to the show, just the fact that you take the time to listen means the world to me, so thank you very much. And again, we're going to talk today, well, honestly, the overall question, the overarching question of today's show is going to be how close to World War III are we? Because, you know, when the Syrian attack happened last week, everybody was like, yeah, you know, not that big a deal. Nobody's going to go to war over Syria. Now we have some former, or some talking heads with former mili- uh, uh, intelligence experience that are kind of starting to wonder. So we're going to talk about that, what's causing the shift, what's up with the language that's now going on from places like Russia and Iran that are now using words like lines have been crossed, um, red lines, and just things that are starting to get some folks with some intelligence backgrounds to kind of scratch their head a little bit and think that maybe they missed the mark when all last week they were really talking, well, I guess Thursday, Friday, they were talking about how nobody was going to go to war over Syria because now some folks are starting to wonder. But I guess, and this all ties together, I promise, but something else we're going to be talking about is something nobody's talking about. Rex Tillerson on the Sunday shows this past Sunday actually basically confirmed that they know that Russia was involved in the hacking 
and that they know that Russia has been doing that not only here, but in other Western countries around the globe, and yet nobody's talking about that. Nobody's talking about lots of things. Well, we're going to be talking about all of them. But first, we have got to take the first official break and get it out of the way. So bear with me for just a moment here. Hey folks, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine, Dr. Richard Harden. We are on the same mission, which is Waking Up America. We just have different paths. So stay tuned for some information on how you can keep up with Richard and all his work. Visit Richard's website at raharden.com. That's the World Wide Web at rahardin.com. At his website, you can see a summary of the six books he has written, where purchases may be made. He also has a link to 18 videos on YouTube and several blogs about Christian beliefs. If you prefer, visit Amazon.com backslash Kindle and type in Richard Harden to see and purchase his books. Every day, the men and women of the United States Marine Corps stand ready to defend the American way of life. The few, the proud, the Marines. folks welcome back to the program and again we're going to be kind of all over the map today but we're it's all going to tie together i promise because you know there's been some things that have been going on over the weekend uh like there were some uh coptic christians that were basically slaughtered over the weekend on palm sunday no less uh let that sink in for just a moment uh christians that were celebrating the day that christ rode into the city of jerusalem on a donkey um were basically slaughtered by muslim extremists we also have a shift in policy from the Trump administration in regards to Syria because now they are actually talking about regime change in Syria. Uh, we also have a drastic shift in policy when it comes to Syria in regards to the Trump administration because, I remember, candidate Trump was all about making sure that Obama knew that he needed to go before Congress and get approval before he took any direct action against Syria. Now. Maybe that was because candidate Trump didn't understand things like the War Powers Act. I'm not so sure. Because, you know, most people don't. And again, I'm not saying what uh, President Trump did was illegal, but I do have an issue with the fact that he decided to, after so vocally attacking President Obama, decided to unilaterally act against Siri without even bothering to go to Congress other than as an afterthought. Because I guarantee you that's exactly what happened. He went to them within the 48 hour window that he's required to go to them and said this is what I've done and this is why I've done it and basically gave them no say so now again I will admit that is completely legal based on the War Powers Act of 1973 however I still wonder how constitutional it is to be completely honest because I'm sorry no matter what anyone tells me I can't think of you know the fact that we basically threw cruise missiles into another country I can't imagine that not being considered an act of war and the president cannot be the one to declare war. Therefore, I still wonder if it ever got to the point where it was being challenged, if the WPA would be held as constitutional. 
Now, that's just my thought on it, and it's one that I've been pondering now for days because it's literally I have been kind of, my head has been spinning ever since the Syria missile strike because I get it. I'm one of those guys, you know, I see the, the attacks, and we were just talking about the Coptic Christians and everything else that's going on in the Middle East. I get it. I understand why there are so many people that are standing up and saying, finally, somebody's doing something about Assad. But I, I want to remind you of something, and this is something that's been bothering me for days. When John the Nag McCain killed a beast, and the raisin formerly known as John F. and Kerry are all in the end zone doing the victory shuffle, I have a problem. Because when those three agree on anything, it's got to be bad juju for everybody else. And they were apparently all over this Syrian missile strike. Apparently, they loved every second of it. Now, apparently, we have a uh, uh, not a car not a carrier group, but a uh, a naval group headed towards North Korea. Now, let's not forget. Now, we talked about this some on Friday night, but for those of you that didn't tune in for Robinson tonight, we're going to be backtracking a second because I did some digging. And this seems to be another instance where everybody else is playing checkers and it seems like somebody on Trump's administration is actually playing chess. So let's put all the negatives aside for a second and take it and just take a gander at what has changed since these missile strikes happened. So first things first, he actually attacks an, an enemy combatant area where we're pretty sure the, the, the gas attacks were launched while he's sitting across the table from the leader of the Chinese government and talking about the thorn in the side that for both of them that has become North Korea. Now let's not forget, two weeks ago, Donald Trump was talking about unilaterally taking action against North Korea and nobody believed him. Even his own people were kind of looking at him like, did somebody, what, what did, can somebody get the man a Valium or something? And so what's happened though? Because Donald Trump is having dinner you know, fly on the wall moment, but I'm just curious, did he actually get him the double Big Mac that he said that he was going to get him instead of the expensive steak dinner? Somehow I doubt it, but yeah, so, uh, sorry, it's one of those things about having a really good memory. I, I hear things and I never really forget them. One of the things that was brought up several months ago when candidate Trump was talking about all the money that we were wasting was the fact that if he was the one sitting across the table from somebody like a head of state like China, he wouldn't spend all this money on an expensive steak dinner and blah, blah, blah. He would just buy him a Big Mac. Well, maybe he would get him the double Big Mac. So I'm just curious, did, did you get him a Big Mac or did you buy him a steak? But anyway, so I digress. So, but at, like I said, so we have... A missile strike, which is basically united the hawkish left and the hawkish right. They're all like, oh my God, somebody's finally doing something and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, Hillary's happy and she's in there, you know, doing the granny shuffle in the end zone. Uh, John the F and Carrie, or the raisin formerly known as John F and Carrie, is in there doing the truffle shuffle and God knows what the Nag McCain's doing. But, you know, it's just one of those things where when they start dancing around and yipping and clapping each other on the back. I'm just kind of really wondering what we've gotten ourselves into. But at the same time, again, look at all the things that we were talking about that we're not talking about anymore. We're not really talking about the Russian hacking. As a matter of fact, remember when I opened the show, I talked about the fact that on one of the Sunday shows, Tillerson basically admitted that they know that Russia was probably involved in some way in influencing our elections because they've been doing it in other Western countries. He admitted this. Nobody's talking about it. Why are we not talking about it? Because we're bo too busy talking about Syria. So, a lot of things happened with this missile strike. Because everybody accused Trump of being uh, Russia's little puppet. Well, now Russia's mad at Trump. So he's kind of dissolved that. We're not talking about the Russian hacking anymore. Because we're too busy talking about the Russians being hacked off at us. We're also, we also are now getting China's basically at least attention when it comes to North Korea because now Z thinks that he's going to be crazy enough to go ahead and go unilaterally toe-to-toe -to -toe with North Korea after all because by God he just did it with Syria why wouldn't he do it with anybody else so this was an instance of Donald Trump basically running the table 
And the sad thing is what we've shown him is if you're unpopular, throw some missiles somewhere. We'll love you again, Mr. President, because that's exactly what happened. Even people that have hated Donald Trump are looking at the pictures of what has been coming out uh, from the attack from Syria, and even they are like, well, I kind of got to give him this one at least. I'm sorry, but I don't. This doesn't make me heartless. I feel for the people that were attacked. But let's not forget, the same people that we're now wringing our hands over, the left was convinced that we were full of crap when we kept trying to tell them that Iraq's weapons of mass destruction were moved into Syria because we had satellite evidence that this, is, this had occurred. And somehow we were the ones that were completely off base. All right, so we're going to have to take another really quick break, and we'll talk about this some more when we come back. Don't go away. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now, and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-553-8687. That's 800-553-8687. Again, 800-553-8687. All writers are prone to becoming so attached to our characters and stories that we struggle to see why a passage may not be working. It takes another set of eyes to help us nurture our writing to full maturity. At Black Wolf Editorial Services, we strive to enable writers to develop and grow, shaping stories into masterpieces that can stand the test of time. Editing services are provided for all genres and all age categories. Services range from the critique of the short story through to line edits on full-length novels. We also offer assistance on generating writer's bios for your websites. We won't abandon you to the masses. We want to celebrate with you in your successes. Black Wolf Editorial Services, nurturing your writing into maturity. For a full list of services and prices, visit us at blackwolfeditorial.com. Hey, this is John Preston, Marine Combat Veteran and Pacific Records Recording Artist. Hi, just reaching out to have you check out our new album, Battle Cry, Songs of America's Heroes, an album featuring phenomenal other combat veteran artists like Scott Brown of the Scooter Brown Band, Brian Weaver, Rowdy Johnson, just an incredible mix of people. This is all veterans telling our stories and our lives, and we're giving 100% of our proceeds to the Valkyrie Initiative to help veterans and first responders integrate back into society. I, myself, I've battled with post-traumatic stress for many years and lost my own brother, a Marine Corps veteran, to suicide. I ask that you step with us and make this happen. We are in pre-order right now and release on March 17th. Go to iTunes, go to Amazon, bye, bye, bye. We plan on making the charts and making it at a very high level, and your support right now makes a difference. This is the release of my new song, Superman Falls, which is actually about the loss of my own brother, which happened last year, and I would love for everyone to check it out, to listen, and hopefully it'll make a difference in many lives. Welcome back, folks. All 
right, and just a big, uh, well, a bit of a shout out anyway, because you may have noticed we're running some different bumper music now than we than we run for the intro and the outro. But that's because we're actually running some stuff from Madison Rising. Uh, that is actually something wicked by Madison Rising, used with their permission, of course. Because for those of you who don't know, we've actually interviewed Rio on a handful of shows. Uh, who's the new lead singer? We've actually been promoting some of their music, so we have permission to run their stuff. And I actually found that song, and it's you know it's been one of the ones that's kind of been on an endless loop in my head. And the more research I do into what's been going on for the last few days, the more I'm starting to understand why subconsciously this song has probably been on an endless endless loop in my head. So let's backtrack for a second because we had talked about the whole Russian hacking thing and the fact that, you know, Sunday Tillerson basically dropped a bombshell and nobody's talking about it. He's like, yeah, we, we, we just pretty much know they, they've done it here because they're doing it elsewhere. And, and no follow-ups, no nothing, just slides right under the radar. Well, there's been another little interesting development and this is actually um, from the Raw story with permission from International Business Times. New information about a group of Russian hackers arrested over the weekend suggests the malicious actors may have information regarding Russia's role in attempting to influence the 2016 U.S. presidential election. A report from McClatchy said at least six Russians have been arrested in the months following the presidential elections, including one arrest that took place Friday in Barcelona made by the Spanish National Police in cooperation with the FBI. The most recent arrest was of Pyotr Lyshenov, a 32-year-old Russian computer programmer, charged with scamming and data theft by the Spanish National Police. The U.S. believes Levashov, sorry I butchered his name a moment ago, is also known as Peter Severa, a well-known spam kingpin who has been tied to Russia's most dangerous cyber criminals. Levashev's wife went on Russian state-owned television sta uh, uh, st uh, station Russian Today over the weekend in the wake of her husband's arrest to say that he was detained because of his, his involvement in creating a computer virus that was linked to a Trump win. Now, again, we're not talking about this. We really, really, really should be talking about this. But we're not, because we're too busy focusing on the fact that we lobbed a bunch of cruise missiles into Syria. So we basically now are starting to see bits and pieces come together of little tiny things that if you start putting them together, you realize that maybe the rush hacking story, not so far fetched after all. And we were starting to wonder about that because with everything that was coming out about the democratic party, remember just me, this about the same time last week was like, it's like they were just basically throwing anything at the wall. They could to see what would possibly stick. But on the days before all of this stuff was starting to come out, we suddenly have cruise missiles lobbed into Syria. Now, let's not forget that just weeks prior to this, Trump had made no indication of doing anything like this with Syria. Now, I am not a conspiracy theorist by any stretch of the imagination, but you tell me, all of a sudden... We have a president that was becoming more and more unpopular. And all of a sudden now both sides are rallying around him because he lobbed a bunch of cruise missiles into Syria. But at the same time, we have a secretary of state who's basically just said, yeah, you know, we kind of knew that they, they probably did do that thing. Now we have news stories breaking about the fact that we know some of the people that are potentially allegedly involved in this hacking scenario. Now, again, all of this is speculation for the moment. Nothing has been proven, and as far as I know, even in inter international law, everybody's at least guilty until proven innocent or, guilty, or innocent until proven guilty. I'm not sure how it works in international law. I think they follow the same kind of uh, guidelines as our UCMJ, which is kind of the reverse, where you're guilty until you prove otherwise. I mean, I, I honestly don't know. But what I do know is that we're not talking about any of this stuff anymore because we, we're, we're too busy paying attention to what's going on in Syria. Now, when we come back from the bottom of the hour break, which is actually coming up in just a second, believe it or not, wow, this show goes by really fast when I have a lot to talk about. Um, but when we come back, we're going to talk about the, the, the iciness that is now happening between Russia and America, uh, thanks to the Syrian uh, attack and some very specific language from both Russia and Iran that has even some former intelligence types starting to get a little nervous. And let's not forget, these are the same folks that, you know, just Friday were saying there's no way anybody's going to go to war 
over Syria. Well, guess what? They're kind of changing their tune now, possibly. We'll talk about all that and more when we come back in just about four minutes. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson. Don't go away. We'll be right back. This way comes You're listening to the Spark Radio Network, internet radio like you've never heard before. Innovation, creativity, and imagination are all said to begin with a spark. So fasten your seatbelt and take the ride of your life and listen for the spark. The following message contains a special offer for listeners of this station. Are you a man over 40? Are you constantly looking for the nearest bathroom? Do you wake up multiple times a night to use the bathroom? Right now, Perfect Prostate is sending out free bottles of their groundbreaking new formula to listeners of this station. Perfect Prostate formula was developed by medical doctor Mitchell Fleischer, and its ingredients have been clinically studied to reduce your frequent nighttime bathroom visits and promote healthy urine flow. Right now, preferred customers get their first bottle of Perfect Prostate absolutely free. There's nothing to lose. Perfect Prostate is guaranteed to reduce that constant urge to use the bathroom, especially at night, and promote healthy urine flow. Don't wait. Call now for your free bottle. Just pay shipping and processing. Dial 1-800-675-0251. That's 1-800-675-0251. Supplies are limited. One free bottle per household. Call now. Dial 1-800-675-0251. That's 1-800-675-0251. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. Every day, the men and women of the United States Marine Corps stand ready to defend the American way of life. The few, the proud, the Marines. Hey folks, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine, Dr. Richard Harden. We are on the same mission, which is Waking Up America. We just have different paths. So stay tuned for some information on how you can keep up with Richard and all his work. Visit Richard's website at raharden.com. That's the World Wide Web at rahardin.com. At his website, you can see a summary of the six books he has written, where purchases may be made. He also has a link to 18 videos on YouTube and several blogs about Christian beliefs. If you prefer, visit amazon.com backslash Kindle and type in Richard Harden to see and purchase his books. This is Slickery Trigger for Rebel Road Tactical. With proper care and feeding, your pistol will be ready when you need it. There to save your life. Shouldn't your gear be that good? Whether you need a holster for comfortable everyday carry or a tough-as-nails holster for your next training course, Rebel Road Tactical has what you need. Check us out on the web at rebelroadtactical.com. All right, folks, welcome back. All right, so... 
let's take a little bit of, of a closer look with into the changes when, when it comes to, you know, Hillary Clinton had this term called the Russian reset. Well, now I think we've had another reset, but I don't think it worked the way we'd hoped. Uh, because now we have Russia basically upset with us over Syria. Um, now, the one thing that everybody had hoped is the fact that uh, Trump used the de-escalation line that was set up uh, between Obama and Putin anytime there was going to be actions in Syria that the other side needed to be made aware of. We had hoped that that might have been enough to keep things from escalating. And even a lot of the intelligence folks were just like, you know what, nobody's really going to be willing to go to war over Syria. That's not. This isn't that big of a deal. And now their story's changing because Iran and Russia are now both starting to use words that are starting to sing, send ripples through the intelligence community because they're using words like lines have been crossed, red lines, uh, this was an attack against us, not against Syria. So everybody, all of the, the folks you know with uh, that are kind of the talking heads types now that have former intelligence ex experience are now starting to get really, really nervous. Now, I'm not saying the guys that are currently in those chairs are getting nervous, because, of course, they wouldn't come in anyway. But the folks, like, there's a guy that works for The Blaze, and I can't think of his name right now, a uh, former intelligence guy, um, and he was actually on with Glenn Beck this afternoon and was talking about the fact that, you know, he's getting really nervous because of some of the, the major, major changes. Like Tillerson's on his way to meet in Russia. Putin's already canceled that particular or uh, a visit with the Secretary of State because of the tensions with Syria. Um, there is a Russian advisor that is using very specific language that is making everyone nervous. So I, ke I keep asking the same question. How close to World War III are we? Because let's face it, we're already basically in World War III, but nobody's talking about it. There are conflicts everywhere. Declared, undeclared um, conflicts with ISIS, conflicts with other militant groups. I mean, we're basically already in World War III and nobody's willing to talk about it. The one thing I will never do is shy away from the subject. You may not like the way I talk about it. And as a matter of fact, I've actually been called a rhino about 14 different times today because folks were listening to the last show that I did in regards to Syria. Someone actually accused me of getting my talking points from the chai comms. That's a term I haven't heard since the 80s, and then told me that I was a rhino. Um, well, we had a fairly cordial conversation through Facebook Messenger on the America Off the Rails Facebook page, um, and I basically told him he was as entitled to his opinion as I was mine, but the same thing that I've been telling you guys. When folks like McCain and and McConnell and, and Hildebeest and... Carrie and everybody else are all like, oh, this is great. We're finally doing something. Yeah, when we start getting those old fossils to do, to, you know, to, to bust a move in the end zone, we've done something wrong. I, I, I just, there's no other way that I can look at it. And I know I keep coming back to that. But part of the reason why I know that we missed something somewhere was when ISIS was cheering because of what we did in Syria. Now we have Donald Trump actually considering regime change. So I ask you again, how close are we to World War III? And how has regime change worked out for us the last few times we've tried it? We tried regime change in Libya. What did that get us? We tried regime change in Iraq. What did that get us? Look, I don't like Saddam Hussein, and I'm glad that somebody finally did something, but at the same time, hindsight being what it is, how much more stable would the region be right now if we'd left the man alone? Now, I hate even having to make statements like that because, again, I'm a law and order kind of guy. I'm a truth, justice in the American way kind of guy. I grew up watch I grew up reading Superman comic books. I grew up watching the Superman TV shows and the Superman movies. I understand we're not supposed to let the bad guys all over the planet do what they want to do whenever they want to do it and to hell with the consequences. But at the same time, when you're looking at this through the lens of history, did we or did we not make a mistake when we went into Iraq, knowing what we know now? And I will tell you where we made the mistake. We made the mistake when we let off the gas. It was no different than in the Persian Gulf situation. We should have went on in to Iraq and dealt with it then, and we didn't. When we went back in and we did it, we still only, only did it halfway. We didn't do what needed to be done. And because of that, we're now reaping the consequences. We have 
chemical weapons that were transported from Iraq to Syria that have now been used against Syrian the Syrian people. Now, the jury's still out, in my opinion, as to whether it was done by rebels or whether it was done by Assad. Now, I will admit, the, the, the rebels getting a hold of something like that is pretty far-fetched, and this isn't a spy novel or an episode of 24. So I understand that, on the face of it, this looks like something that Assad was probably at least in some tertiary way involved in, because otherwise it wouldn't make any other sense. And using Trump's logic, even if he didn't know exactly what was going on, he was still the guy in charge. So ultimately, he's the one that we're going to have to hold accountable. Now, I will let you decide whether or not you agree with that. But again, was what we did here worth what's now going on around the rest of the globe? And we'll talk about that more when we get back, because all of a sudden it's time for a break again. I swear this show goes by fast when I actually... I know I've already said that, but still, craziness. All right, we'll be right back. I promise we still got more to talk about, so don't go away. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robbins, and we'll be back in about two and a half minutes. This way comes. This is Slickery Trigger for Rebel Road Tactical. With proper care and feeding, your pistol will be ready when you need it. There to save your life. Shouldn't your gear be that good? Whether you need a holster for comfortable everyday carry or a tough as nails holster for your next training course, Rebel Road Tactical has what you need. Check us out on the web at rebelroadtactical.com. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now, and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-553-8687. That's 800-553-8687. Again, 800-553-8687. Hey, this is John Preston, Marine Combat Veteran and Pacific Records Recording Artist. i just reaching out to have you check out our new album, Battle Cry, Songs of America's Heroes, an album featuring phenomenal other combat veteran artists like Scott Brown of the Scooter Brown Band, Brian Weaver, Rowdy Johnson, just an incredible mix of people. This is all veterans telling our stories and our lives, and we're giving 100% of our proceeds to the Valkyrie Initiative to help veterans and first responders integrate back into society. I, myself, I've battled with post-traumatic stress for many years and lost my own brother, a Marine Corps veteran, to suicide. I ask that you step with us and make this happen. We are in pre-order right now and release on March 17th. Go to iTunes, go to Amazon, buy, buy, buy. We plan on making the charts and making it at a very high level, and your support right now makes a difference. This is the release of my new song, Superman Falls, which is actually about the loss of my own brother, which happened last year. And I would love for everyone to check it out, to listen, and hopefully it'll make a difference in many lives. This is real, Madison Rogers. 
and you're listening to KLRN Radio, where liberty and reason still reign. All right, folks, welcome back. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson. We're coming to you live right now from KLRNRadio.com. Already almost all the way through the show, and we've still got lots more to talk about. We may have to actually continue this one uh, tomorrow. But so we've kind of been all over the map. Uh, we've been talking about whether or not we're close to World War Three. I saw the gestures joined joined us in the chat room, and she's actually pointing out, you know, yes, the first shots of World War Three have already been fired. I talk about this stuff in my show every day. Yeah, I know. Tr- trust me, you do all the inter- international events, so so I get it. You're more well versed on this stuff than I am, and it, you you do a good job. So thank you for everything that you do. Um, but as, as it stands right now, I'm just kind of trying to put together some stuff more from kind of the American perspective, because a lot of us are standing around going, what the hell just happened? What are we watching? And I have, you know, Dave, uh, we did the, sh- we officially put finding common ground on hiatus over the weekend. Unfortunately, we're still looking to see if we can find a couple of uh, folks to kind of pick up the mantle and keep running with that. Cause I really don't want to table it. Cause a lot of folks don't know this, but that was actually the show that started everything. Um, but we actually talked about this a little bit on Saturday um, because he was actually available. So we did one last show for a while while we see if Dan and somebody else that he knows can pick up the mantle. Um, but he was talking about the reaction to uh, from his children when they saw the, the Syrian missile strikes. And the fact that they completely freaked out and even he and i both on saturday were like well nobody's gonna go to war over syria it's not that big a deal and he's trying to calm his kids down and we're talking about it after the fact and now i start turning on new show after new show after new show today and everybody's talking about the fact that there has been a 180 degree shift in the trump administration stance on russia now they're talking about and the 180 degree shift on syria now they're talking about regime change, which again, you know, never really works well when we try it. I, I hate to point this out, but as I believe it was Ron in the chat a moment ago said, um, a good rule of thumb is when a bunch of people in the Middle East are trying to kill each other, the last thing we should do is try to stop them. I hate to say things like that because it makes me sound so callous, but it's pretty much true. Why do we keep having to get involved in everybody else's affairs? I mean, look, I get it. I, I understand the concept. We've talked about it over and over again on this show. That somebody years and years and years ago decided that we needed to be the peacekeepers of the world. That decision was made decades before I was born. If I had the time machine, I would gladly, especially if it was a DeLorean, I'd get it up to 88 miles an hour, go back, figure out who made that decision, and go punch him square in the nose. Luckily for me, I don't have a time machine, so I can't go to jail. Um, but at the same time... I'm tired of being the, pol- the the world police. And I get it. Assad's a bad guy. I understand. Assad's a bad guy. But aren't we right now mad because Russia interfered in one of our elections? Because Russia decided that it knew better what it what we needed than we did? Isn't that what we do every time we start throwing our weight around in other countries? We start telling people how they need to govern themselves? Are we not 18 shades of mad over the, the possibility, even the remote possibility, that something like that happened between us and Russia? But we do it every single day. Everybody's talking about how bad it was even before people were starting to finally admit that there's a good chance that, that Russia influenced our election. No, nobody's been talking about the decades that we've done things like that. Nobody's been talking about the fact that Obama was very heavy-handed in the last Israeli election. Nobody's talking about that stuff. Because here's the problem, folks. And we see this every day in politics. Whatever decisions your side makes are fine. Because you agree with them. But woe unto you when things flip around and all of a sudden the other side's making the same type of decisions. And then even though they're the same thing... They're the worst idea ever. Case in point, the headlines from 2013 to 2017 in regards to the nuclear option. Because in 2013, when the Democrats used the nuclear option to change the Senate rules, they saved democracy. In 2017, when the Republicans used the the nuclear option to change Senate rules, they've destroyed democracy. 
It's all about perspective. And that's one of the reasons why we need to learn to stay out. Because it's all about perspective. Because when we go meddle in other people's elections and in their lives and in their countries, well, we're doing it for the betterment of them and for the better and to bring democracy to the world. I get it. Democracy is a great thing. But who are we to decide that it has to be everywhere? Again, I understand. Politics, just like nature, abhors a vacuum. There has to be a country that holds the reins of power. Otherwise, there will be other countries that step in and try to occupy those empty spaces of power. And I understand that it's better us than anyone else. But at the same time, that doesn't mean I have to like it. And that doesn't mean that I have to just blatantly just sit here and say, oh, well, yeah, it's fine that Donald Trump threw missiles into Syria because, hey, he's a Republican. I, that, that's not how this works for me. All right, so we've got to take another really quick break. Then we've got one last segment where we're going to talk about Bannon. Is he on the outs? Is he about to get removed from the White House? Some people are saying yes, but we'll talk about that and more when we come back on America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson. We'll be back in just over three minutes. Don't go away. Lots more to talk about in the few minutes we got left. This way comes The following message contains a special offer for listeners of this station. Are you a man over 40? Are you constantly looking for the nearest bathroom? Do you wake up multiple times a night to use the bathroom? Right now, Perfect Prostate is sending out free bottles of their groundbreaking new formula to listeners of this station. Perfect Prostate formula was developed by medical doctor Mitchell Fleischer, and its ingredients have been clinically studied to reduce your frequent nighttime bathroom visits and promote healthy urine flow. Right now, preferred customers get their first bottle of Perfect Prostate absolutely free. There's nothing to lose. Perfect Prostate is guaranteed to reduce that constant urge to use the bathroom, especially at night, and promote healthy urine flow. Don't wait. Call now for your free bottle. Just pay shipping and processing. Dial 1-800-675-0251. That's 1-800-675-0251. Supplies are limited. One free bottle per household. Call now. Dial 1-800-675-0251. That's 1-800-675-0251. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. Every day, the men and women of the United States Marine Corps stand ready to defend the American way of life. The few, the proud, the Marines. Hey folks, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine, Dr. Richard Harden. We are on the same mission, which is Waking Up America. We just have different paths. So stay tuned for some information on how you can keep up with Richard and all his work. Visit Richard's website at raharden.com. That's the World Wide Web at rahardin.com. At his website, you can see a summary of the six books he has written, where purchases may be made. He also has a link to 18 videos on YouTube and several blogs about Christian beliefs. If you prefer, visit amazon.com backslash Kindle and type in Richard Harden to see and purchase his books. All 
Alright folks, well, welcome back. Well, believe it or not, we're just about out of time. We've got just about enough time for one last topic, and that is Bannon, because, you know, the other interesting thing, uh, some chatter coming over from the Russian side of things through one of their uh, envoys was the fact that they were actually hoping uh, that Bannon would be able to keep uh, Trump in line, so to speak. Well, the interesting thing is Bannon is slowly but surely being pushed out of everything to do with the White House. Now, you can say that that is a good thing. Honestly, I'm not a f fan of Bannon's, or, so I'm not necessarily upset by the fact that this is happening. But you have to ask yourself, who is uh, Trump starting to uh, put his confidence in as far as who is he talking to? And it actually happens to be more and more members of his family. Let's not forget, these are the same family members that up until recently were registered as Democrats and actually couldn't vote for him in the primary because they didn't know that they... They either didn't know or had no plans of changing their registration, so they couldn't vote for their own father in the primary. Um, so you can you can say that that may not necessarily be a bad thing because you know are they Democrats or are they moderates? You know we always talk about a governing from the middle could be better, but I want to close with one final thought on the fact that uh, to deal with Bannon possibly being ousted from the White House. Because what's going to wind up happening if Trump suddenly starts taking advice from a bunch of people that lean further left than he does? I have a sneaking suspicion he's going to push further and further left. When he does, he's going to alienate more and more of the right, and the left can't stand him, so no matter what he does, they're not going to get behind him, which is suddenly going to leave him standing in a smoking crater that used to be his ratings. So as he drops to, dare we say, 25, 22, 21, possibly even 20% in the approval ratings. What has this past few days shown him? All I got to do is throw missiles at somebody and everybody's going to love me again. Now, I want that to sink in for you because, again, I'm not trying to terrify anyone, but I'm trying to help you understand the mindset of this person because ultimately he's about approval. That's why he gets so bent out of shape when people say bad things about him, because he's all about approval. Now, that's one of the reasons why some of us have been staunchly opposed to him this entire time. Now, again, I've been trying to give him the benefit of the doubt, and I will continue to give him praise when he does things that he's supposed to do. But I'm going to continue to call him out when I see that he's, in my opinion, taking things in the wrong direction. And folks, rest assured, that is what this is, is my opinion. I look at the facts, I draw a conclusion, I talk to you about them. It doesn't necessarily mean that I'm right. So I don't want anybody all of a sudden thinking that we're going to be glowing in the dark within the next six months because nobody's saying that. What I am saying is it's time to be careful. What I am saying is it's time to be mindful. What I am saying is it's time to start paying attention to the things that are going on around you. What I am saying is it's time, if you haven't already, to start standing up for your principles and don't worry about what anybody else thinks about you because you do it. Look, folks, I come under attack every single day for giving you my opinions on the air about nine hours a week. And through Facebook and when I have time to write things and everything else, I come under attack every single day. I'm still going to do it anyway because I feel like I have to. Because I've heard some of the other folks behind a microphone and they're a bunch of cheerleaders for Trump. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but I'm saying that's not what we need right now, is a, is a bunch more cheerleaders for Trump. He has enough of those. And I'm sorry. Call me whatever names you want to call me. I am opposed to the path that we have started down when it comes to Syria. Because Russia is not going to back down. Russia has been looking for an excuse to revive the USSR since the 90s. That's Putin's wet dream, is to bring back the USSR. And we've just given him the excuse to look into ways that he might be able to do it. All right, folks, well, believe it or not, we are officially out of time. Again, as I always do, just want to remind you that if you do enjoy the show, I do always appreciate your feedback. Even if you don't like the show, I appreciate your feedback. You're welcome to give the feedback multiple ways. You can follow along on Twitter at AOTR underscore host. You can shoot me an email at Rick at KLRNRadio.com. You can follow along on Facebook at Rick Robinson. Uh, you can also follow along the show's Facebook page, uh, America Off the Rails. 
Um, so there are about a half a dozen different ways that you can communicate. I do respond to as many of them as I can, as quickly as I can. So if I don't get to you right away, just rest assured, eventually I, I will get to you. Um, but um, again, if you want to communicate more easily, Twitter is one of the quickest ways to do it. Because Lord knows it's an app and it's on my phone and my phone doesn't ever really leave my side. But on that note, folks, we are out. I will be back with you tomorrow night. We actually have some more stuff in regards to this that we haven't gotten to yet. So we'll talk about that some more tomorrow night. And then whatever other news and events are up for uh, the day tomorrow. And don't forget, before America Off the Rails, we'll actually have a uh, Jen and Rick right here live on KLRNRadio.com. So stay tuned for the double shot and, you know, just... Hang out in the chat room. Have some fun. Um, and, of course, if you are listening to KLR and Radio, we have uh, the, uh, the Rhino Report coming up right about now as soon as I shut things down. So don't go away.